In this video, we're going to talk about a separately excited shunt generator. And I say separately excited because if you look, there's a DC exciter source over here across the field windings F1 and F2 that is not tied back to the terminal voltage, therefore it's separately excited. So what we'll do is we'll set the uh, shunt field coil at its rated value. In our particular case, it's 600 milliamps, I believe. We'll look at the nameplate voltage on the generator to get that exactly right. And uh, what we'll do next is we'll uh, start our prime mover. Our prime mover turns the generator here, and this generator is going to generate some terminal voltage VT. And what we should be able to read is a no load terminal voltage. And what happens with this circuit is uh, as you apply more and more load out here across the terminals, that load is whatever light bulbs, refrigeration. As you uh, apply a load out here on those terminals, obviously that load draws more current. So the resulting terminal voltage will be equal to whatever the generator was generating at no load minus a voltage drop. And that voltage drop is going to be IA times RA and that IA is what flows over here, IA what flows in the armature circuit and that RA resistance is actually the resistance of everything in the armature path you know interconnections, pigtails, inner poles, armature windings will lump that all into one resistance RA and keep in mind that RA does include the inner poles we've done some experimentation we have access to the inner poles but that's really part of the armature circuit all right, so VT equals EG minus IA RA for a separately excited shunt generator. Made with DoodleCast Pro.